and who do we want to fly this one? Crew. And it keeps on defaulting to Bill. I uh, let's let's actually move down. I want to keep on rotating crew here. So let's do do that. I want Razor Nightblade. Razor, Razor Nightblade, get in there, dude. Show us what you got. Be a first of our our volunteer. We got our our, th our three orange suited pro professionals, but we want the volunteers. I really want to get this thing over towards the mountains. Razor is the man to get to make that happen. Okay, Razor Nightblade, you got an extremely cool name. I want to see you put that name to the use. Well, actually, come and think of it. I could land. I I, I need to get land uh, surface samples, goo samples from landing over by the shores as well. Uh, do I want to try Ra an SC Razor? He's, he's all ready to go, and I'm changing the mission on him. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and try again for those mountains. Mountains, Razor. That's what we're after. Boom. Let's do this one. So I think the key to that would be more, a more vertical travel than we had in the previous launch. Oh, look how slowly, look how much we're slowing down. Yeah, this may have been a bad idea. Here, let's try and get us a little more vertical at this point. Yeah, point it up here. Here, just says, man, whose idea was this? This is, this is not an optimal vehicle. <laughs> oh, and I forgot, I was, I was thinking about I was going to do the color, cut some kind of color coding. I wanted the first stage to be... Uh, space Shuttle External Fuel Tank Orange, but I was going to make the subsequent stages be some other colors. Although, uh, this still is definitely being an atmospheric, a low atmospheric stage, so we'll think of it that way. And yeah, color coding will still make sense. I was thinking barely left. Oh, we're, coming, we're slowing to a halt here, dude. <laughs> Maybe these highlands may be a little bit closer to get to. Oh, I want the big mountains. There we go. This is better. Now we got some thrustage happening. Now we're about like this. Let's see what this does for us. It's actually a roll like this to kind of make it easier to think about. Razor's pretty mellow dude. He is not freaking out. He's not too excited. I haven't seen him flapping his little mitten arms around. He's uh, very, very calm. He, he wants to he wants to show that the volunteer, the Kerbal Volunteer Corps, is full, fully capable of a great deal of, you know, professionalism, getting the mission done. And pitch down like this. I suppose we could cheat and look at this, see what that does for us. Uh, yeah, that's not so good. Yeah, let's get more horizontal at this point. The remaining fuel. Realizing that atmospheric drag is going to change this rather significantly. And we're out of fuel. Kill that. Good, okay, speaking of drag, let's get rid of that whole stage. Good, there we go. I suppose we might as well go ahead and get another goo report from the upper atmosphere. It's still good, I mean, it. even though we already had one, this will do something. We'll aim for a crew report while flying over the highlands. And also once we get there, we'll be popping the chute. Yeah, crew report. I bet you this will still be grassland. So that's upper atmosphere. Uh, let's see, there's still some scientific value. Maybe we'll look at doing that again. But no, I'm, I'm really interested in getting one from over the highlands. Oh, look at that arc. That looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? I'll turn the SAS back off. Oh, okay. Yeah, we start we tumble in a little bit. Razor like that. He says, "Oh, hey, I can look out the window and the whole world's upside down." You think, oh, Razor? He thinks that's cool. Crew report, upper atmosphere. No, I, w I want highlands. I suppose it's difficult to see exactly where we are. 
But let's go ahead and pop the chute right now. Oh, come on, we have to be. Yeah, we're we're over the highlands, but we're still are we low enough to be considered no longer upper atmosphere? I wonder where the border is. Crew report over to Kerbin's Mountains. There we go. Yeah, it's definitely let's keep that data. Thank you. Uh, do we want to try an EVA right now? Would that be a really bad idea? Next, next. Um, I know we can do an EVA from the upper atmosphere. Let's, let's try it. Boom. All right, this bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, Nightblade. <laughs> Razor, whoever you are. <laughs> oh, man, look at him. He loves it. He's like, man, this is awesome. Turn your pack on. Maybe it'll help. Thrust upwards. Razor, Razor, Nightblade. I already forgot your name. I don't even know. Wow, look at that crater. That's pretty spectacular scenery, dude. <laughs> okay, where's our... Yeah, there's our capsule. Wee. <laughs> well, that still worked. <laughs> Yeah, I know this isn't controllable anymore, is it? Yeah, yeah, you can't do anything with it. <laughs> All right, well, that's a bad idea. Guess what? You can't EVA a Kerbal in the in the lower atmosphere like you can in the high atmosphere. So that that's a that's a result to to keep in mind. I wonder, will it allow me to recover this vessel after we touch down and get that little bit of science that's already in there? Imagine it might. I mean, they'd send a like a truck over here or something, right? Eventually. <laughs> Except I'm pretending that they can't. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Thud. Okay, stop rolling. Stop rolling. All right, stop. Stop, stop, stop. All right, this good. No, stop now. Stop. Oh, this could be a problem. Could be a problem. Yeah, I have no, no control over it. And, uh, yeah, and it won't let me, I definitely won't let me, okay, let's recover it now. Good. It stopped long enough. Oh, <laughs> scratch one volunteer. Hey, I got 25 science now. We gained 2.2 science on that. So what we had a crew report while flying over the mountains. That was good. Uh, mystery goo, observation for the upper atmosphere, recovery of vessel that survived a flight. Yeah. Yeah, we don't getting any more of that. Too bad we didn't have a recovery of a Kerbin, Kerbal that <laughs> survived the flight. Done. You know, let's just repeat that. Uh, Kerb flight. 05B. Uh, let's go with Bill. Bill, you sat out a couple of... Yeah, Bill, you sat out a couple missions. It's your turn. All right, so the Volunteer Corps, we had a little bit of problem. We got a little bit ambitious in jumping outside and trying to do an EVA in the lower atmosphere. <laughs> So Bill has to do it. Let's again. I want I want a surface sample from the mountains and also goo, uh, goo sample from the mountains. That is the mission. We'll take additional measurements on on the way there. Just to you know, the little fragments of science. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's actually not angled so much as we did before, and this one needs to be just mostly vertical. I really wish these boosters lasted longer. Just a few seconds like that, it's useless, you know? Well, not quite useless. And I, and I get, and I know that the, the whole, uh, the, the object of, of doing game this way is to be severely limited, so you have to get creative with, with how, uh, ways to gain that science. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm very, very much opposed to the whole, I know it's possible to take, even in the stock game, take just a few, uh, very first, uh, you know, tier one parts and, and do missions where you go to other planets and you land on other planets and gather uh, data from Duna and the moons and everything and come back all in one mission. But I just don't want to. I want the thing to kind of last for a while. You hear me, Bill? Bill's ignoring me. It's okay. I'm slowing down kind of alarmingly. <laughs> it's just not a very good design. And we're, we may be asking just a little bit too much 
you know what? Here, we're not in upper atmosphere, but we're not flying at Kerbin. Let's see what it does. It, it, it thinks that it is flying at Kerbin. Okay. I'd rather get some more from the upper atmosphere. More mystery goo from upper atmosphere. Let's see if we can get that. Oops. I nearly missed the fact that I needed to stage right then. I can't believe I tried, tried to get, I tried to EVA that, EVA that guy in lower atmosphere. I knew better. I knew it probably wouldn't work. <laughs> well, you know, it could have. <laughs> All right, is this upper atmosphere? Let's get a crew report. Uh, shores. I think yeah. I think that maybe that's more data than upper atmosphere at this point. Let's keep that data. Pitch over some more like this. Is this upper atmosphere? Mm -hmm. Here, let's do it this way. Observe Mr. Goo. Flying at Kerbin. Discard. Uh, no, I want upper atmosphere, dudes. Come on. Alright, let's get more horizontal. Oops, whoops, whoops, whoops. I'm gonna steer this correctly. There we go. I may have waited too long. We're about to run out of fuel. Ooh. That could be a problem. Definitely could be a problem. All right, let's get rid of that. Now, we definitely, we must be in upper atmosphere, right? So let's get a crew report. Overwrite existing. Crews, yes, upper atmosphere. And yes, that does get us more science. Let's keep that one. Let's do another goo experiment, upper atmosphere. Goo, okay, half, get half a science for that. Let's keep that one. So now we need another one we land, although, look at the map, it's looking pretty iffy. Uh, it's hard to tell whether it'll consider that to be uh, mountains or not. And definitely we're going to hold off on popping the parachute because that'll slow us down. I wonder if I could do an EVA now. <laughs> oh, you shouldn't play around with that stuff. Yeah, it probably has something to do with the equivalent airspeed setting. And look at that. EAS. Uh, 19, that's, that's a really significant breeze. Right there. Yeah, that, that's... Uh, you may, Maybe you could hang on. I know, probably not, not going to try it. It's actually also looking... It's looking pretty good in here, guys. I think maybe we'll... This is good for... We maybe go for a mountain landing. I won't see. Yeah, we still have Kerbal's, Kerbin's rotation kind of thing happening. And that's helping us out. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to work. I knew it was going to work, yeah, landing, going for the mountains. I never doubted it for a second. And we're just crossing over the mountains now. The edge of the mountain region. <clears throat> Here, let's pop that chute now. So we'll get a surface sample from the mountain. We'll get a goo report from, from the mountain area. It'll all be good. I really like the the graphics update that they did. Really made these, the Kerbin's mountain ranges look so much more cool than they did before. I mean, they looked okay before, but they look so much more cool now. Yeah, this is fun. Okay, that parachute should be inflating very soon, Bill. Very, very soon. I would, uh, if I were skydiving and I saw this, I would really want it to inflate. That's good. Okay, good. 
It's kind of interestingly, entertainingly close to that whole cliff edge over there. Be careful in doing this EVA stuff, Bill. We don't want to repeat of certain incidents from other past series. Somebody by the name of Kirby O comes to mind. Let's, let's be really careful with that. Yeah, Bill's got a good, cold, calm, satisfied, confident smile. And... Don't roll! Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I... All right, try to push a little bit. Down and stable. Good, 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 good. <laughs> it's, it's a fairly, yeah, it's a, it's a noticeable incline there. Uh, observed in mystery goo. What we have from being on the mountains, from Kerbin's Mountains, observed goo, we get a science for that. You gotta like your science. Okay, Bill, get out there. Whoops, hang on. I saw the, right through the side of the planet and it kind of startled me. Uh, EVA report from Kerbin's Mountains. Yeah, it gets a little bit of science for that. Take a surface sample. This should be good. Yeah, three science for that one. The surface mostly barren. Snow, dirt, and rocks. Very confident that if he looked under the snow, he'd find more dirt and rocks. Definitely keep that one. Okay, good. All right, uh, store our experiments. Good. And get back into the pod before anything bad happens. Good. And let's recover that. What was our goal? We wanted eight science. In order to unlock the next tab. And, oh, we got six. Okay, well, I can't do math, apparently. We have 31 <laughs> science now. Oh, I, wasn't, I wasn't considering how much science we got in that previous mission. We just got just a little couple of scraps for that. All right, cool. Done. So we got that one. Let's pull this one open. This tab is the one that I said I wanted, so it gives us uh, interesting aerodynamical type parts, and it also gives us uh, lateral, you know, radial decouplers. It gives us the procedural wing. It also gives us fairings. Oh yeah, and separatrons. Although I really not seen too much of a use for them, but I definitely want to research that. Bang! Good. Okay, what is all this stuff? And uh, opens up this possibility. Oh, I bet you this thing needs this as well. What is this? Aerodynamics. Wings! They make things fly. How about that? Good. And if I had one quibble, if you give us one control surface, you really should open up all the control surfaces, as it makes no sense to have one and not the others. What's in this one? Flight. All right, good. And yeah, there's our gear bay. Well, see, a lot of these things I need to... I was just going to look and see what tabs some of, the, some of the, the, the additional uh, landing gear are. If you have one, you should have the others. Uh, what's this one? Now we're fly, flight control. All right, so these would be for the, for the, for the, and for like elevons, or I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Stabilators. Yeah. Okay. Which that'd be, is that'd be different from the trailing edge wing controls. Cool. So what's this one? 60, 60, 60. But yeah, I believe we are going to go with this one because we want to start... Uh, actually, with, with just this collection, this should be enough We can to, to get us orbital. Yeah, this should definitely be enough to get us orbital. We'll start orbiting over a bunch of these different places. I'm very pleased with that. Okay. Okay, that's all cool. Yeah, I wanted to just record just a little bit tonight, and we've unlocked the next tab, so that seems like a natural stopping point. I'll cease recording, and we'll play some more. I'll talk to you later. I apologize to you. The one dude, I killed your Kerbal trying a stupid move. <laughs> it was funny, though. If he, had, if he had to die, at least it was a funny way. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll talk to everybody later. Goodbye.